I saw oil. I saw it dripping into the streams and I followed it all the way up to where there was a big holding tank farm. The holding tank farm was deplorable and there was oil all over the place. There was huge oil ponds and they were all full of oil. I mean crude all around. The smell was horrendous. We traced it up to the top singular tank and it was medieval in its design and its function and there should have been there, someone there 24-7 to check it. And then you brought this matter to the attention of the authorities and then what happened? The initial person that I spoke with in the local department, and of course it's very difficult to get anyone's attention in the DEC, was a relative, close relative, of the gentleman who's doing the actual drilling. So I knew that I wasn't going to get anywhere there in that type of incestuous relationship. So I proceeded and I went further and I went up to Buffalo. And, and again, I, the gentleman came down here and he was appalled. He cited it as the worst oil spill he has ever seen in his, I don't know, 25 plus years of employment working with the Department of Environmental Conservation. Now you've come back months later, and what do you see now at the site? I see still oil spread all around, the smell of crude, but I do see some improvement. And, but it appears as though they have pushed the earth over the oil ponds in an attempt to conceal. They've put straw bales there to try to contain it, but there's still pockets of crude everywhere. And I still see the crude dripping into the streams. Although some of it is checked, um, it's still, you know, apparent. What do you want? I just want my land to be perfect. I don't want it to be soiled, spoiled, or destroyed. I want it for my children and my grandchildren to live here and to enjoy the environment exactly as the way God had intended.